Hey, third graders, your lesson today is about the French people and why they came to North America. So your learning target is to identify the reasons for the French arrival and to describe the early interactions with the indigenous peoples. You'll show that you've learned this with the quiz at the end of the video. Explorers are people who travel into areas they do not know well. About 500 years ago, some people from the continent of Europe were exploring. What were they looking for? They were looking for a way to sail between the continent of Europe and the continent of Asia. People in many countries of the continent of Europe had come to love silk and spices and other goods from countries like China and India. These countries were part of the continent of Asia. People in Europe wanted to trade for these goods. Therefore, explorers were looking for ways to sail from Europe to Asia. They were also looking for lands to claim as their own. But they discovered a very big problem. Something was in their way. It was the continent of North America. Explorers from the country of France had joined other explorers trying to find a sea route to Asia. Since North America was in their way, the French decided to try and find a shortcut through North America. They decided to sail down the St. Lawrence River. They hoped that this river might run all the way across North America. If it did, it would take them to the Pacific Ocean, and then they could sail to the continent of Asia. You can see by the map that sailing on the St. Lawrence River took French explorers into the Great Lakes region. They explored further and further, and they came to the area that would become our state of Michigan. It is said that Frenchman Etienne Brule was the first to step foot in what is now Michigan. We don't have a lot of information about what he saw. He couldn't read or write. So the French never did find their shortcut. However, they became interested in the Great Lakes region and Michigan for another reason. They wanted to make these lands part of their kingdom and trade with the indigenous people. A trading system began between the indigenous people of the Great Lakes region and the French. The Native Americans hunted beaver and other fur-bearing animals. They traded these furs to the French. They also other, offered other trade goods, such as food and birch bark canoes they made. The food included meat, corn, and maple syrup. They traded these goods for French knives, cloth blankets, cooking pots, guns, and other goods. All these new items made life easier for the Native Americans. French explorers had come to the Great Lakes, including Michigan, about 400 years ago. Next came French traders and the voyagers. There was also a third group that came. They were called missionaries. Missionaries are people who travel to a new place to teach their religion to people. One of the most well-known missionaries in Michigan was Father Marquette. He founded the mission at Sault Ste. Marie. The mission included a church, but also became a center for trade. This first town in Michigan was established in 1668, and Michigan's second city, St. Ignace, was also started with a mission and Father Marquette. And now it's your turn. Can you show what you learned about the early French?